Hi, I'm Dee Dee Daniels. I've been a fitness professional for a long time. And in that time, I've noticed that people skip stretching. They work out, but they don't stretch. And they should. It's important for recovery, for performance, for relieving stress and tension in your body. It's important to stretch. So we're gonna do that today. Here's what you need. Some space to move around so you don't encounter any furniture with your arms and legs when we move. Maybe some water and a towel. And you can use a mat if you want to. I'm going to, it's optional. And you don't need shoes today. So let's get started. Lie back, make sure you can see me, so turn if you need to. And we're gonna bring the knees into the chest. Just relax your back. You can rock from side to side here if you like. Let's start to think about breathing too. Breathing is so important for flexibility work. So take deep breaths through your nose, unless your nose is stuffy of course, and then you can breathe through your mouth. Let's circle the knees around now. Give the back a little massage against the floor. Go slow here. And remember to do only what feels right for you. If it doesn't feel right for you, do something different. Just rest if you need to. Circle the other way. Loosening up the back because we're going to be stretching through our back. We'll stretch our whole body today. And then just kind of rest in the middle here. Feel the deep breathing as it flows through your body. Let's take the feet down to the floor now, one at a time. And place the feet about hip width distance apart. Now your arms come down to your sides with your palms in. Take a deep breath in and sweep your right arm up next to your ear. And then as you exhale, switch arms. So inhale here and then exhale. Feel the stretch through the shoulders, a little bit of stretch through the chest. And now let's sweep both arms up overhead. So both arms come up, palms facing in, inhale. And then as you exhale, press your hands down into the mat. So apply a little pressure, activate some of your upper body muscles. Big inhale and a long exhale. I want you to go as far in each direction with your arms as you can. Make sure that you're not working in a painful range. Stay in your comfort zone, but work the edge of your comfort zone. Now we're going to push with the feet and lift the hips a little bit. So just a little lift off of the floor with the hips and then arms overhead again. So now we're activating our lower body muscles as well as our core and some upper body muscles. Push your arms down into the floor and lift with your legs and your arms. So this is the bridge lift, working some of the largest muscles in our body, the ones around our tailbone and down the backs of our legs. Do two more. One more time. And then we'll come down. Tuck your hands behind your head and let your elbows open up. So press your elbows firmly down into the floor and feel the chest stretch, a little bit of shoulder stretch too. Find the natural curve of your low back, so it's not flat and it's not overly arched, so the natural curve. And then as you exhale, lift your head, shoulders, and shoulder blades, flattening out your low back. Inhale on the way down. And let's do that again. So try to keep your elbows wide to the side. So we're getting some stretch through our back and some strengthening through our core muscles. Exhale at the top. 
Let's do four more. should feel like some effort in your abdomen. One more. Now we'll come all the way down and stretch the arms out to the side. So turn your palms up, turn the insides of your elbows up, and now we'll separate the feet so they're a little wider than your shoulders. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, your knees go to the left and your head turns to the right. Now come back to the center and inhale, and then exhale to the other side. Back and forth. Think of this like windshield wipers. Back and forth, but slow. So we're stretching through the hips here. We're getting some rotation through the spine and a little bit of stretch in our chest and shoulders. Two more now. And then we'll come back to the center. Drop your knees all the way over to the left. Turn your head to the right and we're going to stay here. So holding is different flexibility wise than moving. This is going to help us gain more lasting flexibility. So try to relax your hips and let gravity pull down on your knees. If it hurts, you're going too far. Let's come back to the center and we'll go to the other side. Let your knees drop over, turn your head. Now if turning your head is not comfortable for your neck, keep your head in the center. Lots of breathing. Now we'll come back to the center and we'll go back over to the left with our knees. This time we're going to hold and we'll place the foot up on top. So that's going to take us a little deeper. Make sure it's not too deep for you. Relax. Breathe into the tight spots. Now before we do the other side, we'll come back to the center, keep the legs folded as they are, and walk your right foot into the center of the mat. Now draw your knees into your chest and get ready for a big hip stretch in your left hip. So draw the knees in close, press your tailbone down firmly, keep your shoulders and your head down on the mat or the floor, whatever you're on. Now let's rock just a few inches from side to side here. So moving around a little bit helps spread the stretch around the hip a little. All right, and then we uncross the legs, take the feet down one by one, shoulder width distance or a little bit wider than that, and let your knees drop over to the right, turn your head to the left, and then place your foot up on top. So encourage the stretch to be a little deeper as long as you're comfortable. Feel the breath move through you like waves. Let's come back to the center now and get that hip stretch. Draw the knees in, hold on to the back of the leg. Make sure your tailbone stays anchored to the floor and then we'll rock from side to side. So flexibility work helps you perform better in athletics or just in everyday life, which is kind of a sport in and of itself. All right, then we'll uncross the legs, draw the knees into the chest. Let's circle the knees around slowly in one direction. And then the other direction. Let's begin to stretch the hamstrings now. So the arms come down and we're going to do a single leg press. So what I mean by that is push your heel toward the ceiling 
and then switch. So we're gonna flex the foot. That means draw your toes down towards your shin. Try to make your heel the highest point. So as you straighten, you'll feel the stretch in your hamstrings. Maybe your calf muscles are stretching here too. And then we'll take our hands along the outsides of our legs, elbows wide, and we'll start to angle the legs out a little bit. So now we're stretching everything we were just a moment ago, plus the inner thigh and groin. Keep your hips anchored, don't let them rock. And support your legs so they can stretch more comfortably. Got a couple more of these. And then we'll come back to the center. Draw the knees in. Now let's circle through the ankles in one direction. See if there's any pops or cracks that want to happen there in your feet or ankles. And then the other way. All right, extend your left leg. Pull your right knee in close. Try to move your legs in the two opposite directions there. And then we'll switch. Now we're turning over. So roll to your side, that's the safest way to come up. And then we'll come up to our hands and knees. If you're not comfortable on your hands and knees with your palms flat like this, come up on your fists and that makes your wrists a little more comfortable. So we want the arms straight down under the shoulders, the knees are straight down from the hips. Let's inhale, lift the chin, lift the tailbone, arch the back, and then exhale and round. I'm going to go back and forth. So feel the stretch through your back in this direction and through your belly here. One more time. Now this time, arch your back, inhale, tuck your toes under, and as you exhale, sit back, stretch your feet, walk your hands a little further forward. Now come forward and inhale, shoulders over wrists, and then exhale, repeat that whole movement again, walking forward, sitting back. Keep going forward with your hands as you sit back until you don't have any more room to move forward. Your arms will be fully extended at that point we'll just move forward and back. As you sit back, feel the foot stretch that's happening and make sure it's not too much. Abdominals in tight here, make a straight line from your knees to the crown of your head. All right, now this time as we sit back, we'll stay back and will come up on the fingertips. So sit all the way back. Let your forehead touch down if it can. Make enough space underneath your palms so you could fit a golf ball or maybe even a tennis ball. And then we're coming up with an inhale. Flatten out your palms. And as you exhale, untuck your toes and reach your right arm through toward the left side of the room and then come up, inhale, and we'll do the same thing going the other way. So reach through. Back and forth now. So this is a different twist than we did earlier. You want your hand, your elbow, and maybe your shoulder to touch down, if possible. One more time. Now we'll sit all the way back into what's called child's pose in yoga. So you can extend your arms forward, let your forehead come down, sit all the way back with your hips to your heels, 
or if it's better for you, open your knees a little wider, stack your hands, and rest your forehead this way. It's important that you can breathe here, so make some breathing space by opening your knees and stacking your hands if you need to. And then from here, take your arms forward. If your knees are apart, bring them together a little bit and then lift your hips a bit. Walk your hands forward and then walk your hands over to the left. Push your hips gently to the right rear corner of your mat if you're using a mat or your imaginary mat if you're just on the floor and stay here. Now you're going to feel this stretch all along the side of your body, so make sure it's not too intense. And then on an inhale, come up, walk through the middle. And as you exhale, we're going the other way. So out to the other side and push your hips to the opposite corner of the room. Don't forget to breathe here. And then lift up on an inhale. And now we'll come all the way down flat on our stomach as we exhale. So lower yourself down slowly. And we'll start with a resting position. Stack your hands, rest your forehead, lengthen your legs out behind you and let them relax. So now as you breathe deeply here, you're gonna notice there's some resistance from the floor. And that's good because that helps to strengthen your breathing muscles. If it feels like too much though, you can come back to the hands and knees position if you need to. All right, stretching the front of our torso now, we'll take the elbows underneath the shoulders and the hands are way out in front of us. So lifting up, stretching the front of the body, pushing the pelvis down, drawing the chin in, make sure your chin is not sticking out in front of you. Make your legs as narrow as you can. And then we'll come down, but we'll slide the hands down our body. So make sure you see what's happening with the hands here. They're very low, elbows are narrow. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, lower down. So important for us to keep our back strong and flexible. Strong and flexible is important. Tuck your shoulder blades back if they're not. Make sure you're inhaling on the way up. And we're gonna do two more of these. And then we'll push ourselves all the way up and into child's pose. Sit back once again. Make it the child's pose that's comfortable for your body in this moment. All right, then we'll come back up and we'll come back around onto our back. Draw your knees back into your chest. Rock from side to side. All right, we have a few more stretches to do here. Take your left foot down to the mat. Extend your right leg up. And we're gonna straighten the right leg. So if you have to have your leg away from you to straighten it, that's what you'll do, that's fine. You can hold low or higher up on your leg depending on how you feel. And then think about drawing your toes to the wall behind you. We're stretching some of the largest muscles in the body right now, the hamstrings. And they're usually fairly tight, so be prepared to breathe and be patient. Now from here, holding on to your right leg, trying to keep it where it is, straighten your left leg along the floor. 
So think about sending your legs in those two opposite directions. By the way, if your leg is trembling, then you're stretching just a little further than you should. So back off if that's happening for you. All right, now from here, we're going to bend the right knee down toward the right underarm. Keep the right heel in line with the right knee and then hold on either to your ankle or to your outer foot or to your inner heel. See if you can just use your right hand and then let your left arm come out to the side. So even though the leg is bent, we're still getting some hamstring stretch here. Draw the knee down closer to the floor if you can. And then we'll switch legs. So take this right foot down, right down to the floor. Extend your left leg up. So right foot on the floor, left leg extended up. Flex your foot. Push your heel up toward the ceiling. Make sure you're still breathing. If you do a lot of sitting, this is a great stretch because the hamstrings get very tight from sitting. And then we'll keep holding on to the left leg where it is and straighten the right leg right along the floor. So flexibility work two times a week, three times a week if you can, that's what it takes. It's something you can look forward to, something that you can treat yourself to. It's important. All right, here's where we draw the left knee down toward the underarm now. And then hold on with the hand wherever it's comfortable and then just let your right arm relax. Let's bring both knees back into the chest now and rock from side to side. Next position, we bring the soles of the feet together. So do your best to get there. Hold your ankles or your shins if you need to. If you can, hold the outer edges of your feet and interlace your fingers. So from here, press your tailbone down firmly, press your shoulders down, and press your knees forward. Forward meaning that way. Hold on tight with your hands. So this is a great stretch for the groin, the inner thigh area. All right, and then let's release that. Bring your knees together. Now we're gonna stretch into the shape of an X, like the letter X. So bring your legs out into a V. Bring your arms into a V. Now I want you to be careful with this. Make sure that you're comfortable through your shoulders. And then from there, if you can make your X a little bit bigger, do that. And then relax for just a moment. So if you're feeling a lot of tightness in the groin area or your hip flexors, the front of your hips, maybe your legs are a little too wide apart. Same thing with the shoulders. If they're not comfortable, try lowering the arms down a little bit. Think about reaching out to four corners of a square room. Just reach out and then relax again. It's time for a spinal twist now. So let's bring one limb in at a time. First a leg and then another leg. And then the arms come in too. Draw the knees into the chest. 
And now we're gonna twist with the knees close to the chest. So bring the knees over to the left, stack them up there, one knee on top of the other, and reach your right arm out to the right. Now, if you're struggling, if your shoulder's coming up, separate your knees. And then if you have that rolled up towel, you can put that between your knees. You wanna have your shoulder down, make sure. Now you can turn your head and look to the right, or you can keep your head in the center. You do what feels best for your neck. Now, if you want a little bit of additional stretch, bring your top knee closer to your chest. and then we'll come across to the other side. So let your knees separate here. If you had your towel, bring your towel with you. Stack your knees. Reach your left arm. Make sure you anchor your left shoulder. And then for a little more stretch, bring your knee up closer. You should still be able to breathe. It should still feel really good. All right, let's come back to the center. Now we're going to stretch out and do just a moment of deep breathing with relaxation. So stretch out, get comfortable. If you're cold, make sure that you put a blanket over you or put on your sweater. Now we'll practice some deep breathing with the hands resting on the abdomen. So just let your hands rest on your belly. Bring your head to the center. Lower your shoulders down away from your ears. Close your eyes for a moment. And the reason we have our hands on our belly is because we're gonna start the inhale very low in the lungs. So I want you to feel on the next inhale that your belly rises first, and then your rib cage fills, and then your chest fills, and then you'll exhale completely. So practice that a few rounds. Belly and ribs and chest on the inhale and then just exhale completely. So the idea here is to breathe deeply and to relax while you're breathing deeply. So make sure you're not holding any tension in your body. Breathe in things that you wanna bring into your life and exhale away things that you wanna let go of. So stay here as long as you can. Thank you for joining me today, and thank yourself for doing something so good for you. I'll see you next time.